What is going on, Indianapolis? I'm Tolan. And I'm Big Ben. We are the Do It Indie Guys. Welcome to this week's top five urban events going on for the week of February 6th through the 12th, 2012. Mm -hmm. I know the Super Bowl's over. Congratulations to the New York Giants. That was a great day. The Giants? Yes. Hey, congratulations to the city of Indianapolis. You know, we do it Indy for a reason, and we do it Indy because the volunteers, the players, the city, the host committee, you guys did a great job of throwing the party of all Super Bowls. Everybody had great praise Definitely. for it. So thank you very much, Indianapolis. You did a great job. And we were honored here at Do It Indy to help cover some of those events, too. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this week's top five urban events. What's number five, Ben? All right, number five, we have a classic from Shakespeare himself, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Now this is playing this Thursday through to Sunday at the Irvington Lodge over here on the east side in uh, historic Irvington. And this is presented by Eclectic Pond Theater Company. Now if you've never seen Midsummer Night's Dream, read the book or something like that, it's a very interesting, one of Shakespeare's more interesting tales and uh, includes some craziness. Uh, obviously it's a dream and uh, you, uh, you'll definitely love it. So uh, tickets are $12. $8 for students, and for more information, visit www.eclecticpond.org, and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. So number five, A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Irvington Lodge. Number four. Number four, we've got Mind Tripping at the Hilton uh, downtown Indianapolis. This is a Vegas-style lounge show uh, featuring Christian and Catalina. They perform magic and, yes. and uh, you know, just mess with your mind a little bit. It's very cool. We got, to, we got to check it out last yes. year. So uh, this takes place Friday at 8 p.m. <laughs> and Saturday at 6 and 8.30 p.m. Tickets are only $25, and it's well worth that for sure. Now, students and military get discounts. Their tickets are only $20. And for more information about this show and the times and everything, go to www. Dot mindtrippingshow.com and they're also on Facebook and Twitter. So that's number four. All right, number yeah. three. Hey, we got a good one for you. Okay, we have Goldie at the Jazz Kitchen. Now, if you don't know who Goldie is, Goldie is a regional uh, musician. She is fantastic. She's a very versatile vocalist that uh, has the uh, genres of jazz, pop, and soul. So Goldie is going to be at the Jazz Kitchen in Broad Ripple this Saturday, February 11th for two shows at 8 and 10 p.m. Obviously, it's at the Jazz Kitchen, so this is a 21 and older event, and it's very economical. Tickets are only $10. For more information, to purchase tickets, and to see who Goldie is, man, that's her great music, visit www.thejazzkitchen.com, and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. So number three, Goldie. Number two, buddy. Number two, we've got the Kinder Carnival. This takes place uh, off of Mass Ave at the Athenaeum downtown. Uh, it takes place Sunday, February 12th from 3 to 5 p.m. You're going to have special performances by Janie's Puppets. So that's a, a good show for anybody right, right there. On. Puppets are awesome. Kids love it. <laughs> <laughs> what this is, it's a, a Mardi Gras slash German style party for families. And they've been doing these kind of parties at the Athenaeum since the 1880s. So it's very historic. historic for Indianapolis. Absolutely. Uh, for individuals, this event is only $5.00. And here's the kicker, if you want to bring the whole family, it's only $12, so that's very economical the too. gift that keeps on getting. <laughs> For more information about this event, go to www.athenaeumfoundation.org. So that's number two, leads us to number one. All right, number one, and this rough, is rough. a big one for us. We have the Indie Winter Classic Dog Show. And I'll tell you, we here at Dude Indie Communications, all of us are dog lovers. Definitely. And I'll tell you, Director Casey's dog, Leppa, is top dog. So you'll learn more about that coming up here real soon. Very high on it. You got it. But hey, this uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, February 9th through 11th at the Indiana State Fairgrounds West Pavilion, you're going to be able to check out over 18 of the American Kennel Club's coolest and uh, most popular breeds of dogs. Yep. Now, if you've never seen a dog show in person, I haven't seen it. Neither have I. It's something interesting that I, I do. definitely <laughs> want to see a dog show in person because, I mean, obviously you have, uh, you know, you've seen the skits, you've seen the dog show movies, but 
Uh, we just love dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So hey, check this out, Indianapolis. If you're a dog lover, and I know there are a lot of you out there, the Indy Winter Classic Dog Show. For tickets and more information, visit www.centralindianakennelclub.org, and they also have a Facebook page. So there you go, number one, the Indy Winter Classic Dog Show. And as always, you can check us out on Google Plus, yeah. Facebook. YouTube and Twitter, do it indie all the time. <laughs> right on. And on doitindy.com. And as always, Indianapolis, stay urban. And until next week, get out and do it indie. Do it indie.